put the uh, bugs in the kitchen. There was over thousands of roaches. Claims of hundreds of cockroaches inside a home. The dangerous solution that had firefighters rescuing the family. See, the chemicals inside bug bombs can be dangerous, and that's something a Middletown family learned all too well today. As none on your side, Scott Wigginer reports an attempt to kill the bugs put the human beings in danger. The scope of the problem that started it all is in dispute. I saw two or three uh, bugs in the kitchen. There was over thousands of roaches. When Middletown firefighters came to Lily Hoskins' home on Minnesota Street for a trouble breathing call, they say they were greeted with a cockroach infestation. When we walked in, we could see that they were um, on all the vertical and horizontal surfaces, furniture and stuff, as well as the floor. All of that is untrue. Still, Hoskins, who lives with her handicapped husband and three grandchildren, thought the bug problem was bad enough to take extreme measures. She set off several foggers in the middle of the night when everyone else was asleep. In the living room, one in the dining room, one in the kitchen, and one in the, in the uh, patio. She became overwhelmed and called 911. I got all choked up and I couldn't breathe. When Captain Spaulding and the other firefighters arrived, they too were affected by the bug bombs. We started to get scratchy throats. But there were still children upstairs that one of their team needed to rescue. He was able to put on an air pack and help finish getting the, the uh, children out from the upstairs. Hoskins' husband Michael was sent to the hospital and later released. The children were unharmed but sent to their parents while the house aired out. Friday morning, everyone was back home and there were no bugs to be seen. Lily Hoskins says the whole thing was blown out of proportion. This is something I've been doing for years. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Middletown.